Let's face it, the reason we play Pokemon Unite is to have fun, because we play Pokemon Unite for fun, for mental health benefits, and for fun. Let's start off with our attackers. I'm going to rank the most fun in each class. There'll be five up here. There are Pokemon that are addictively fun. Then there are some that are novelty. They're pretty fun to use. Um, then there are some that are just meh, not really fun. And the rest are just brain dead, disgustingly unfun, gross to use. I'm going to start off with the most fun that I think amongst these attackers, and it is Inteleon. This Pokemon is so rewarding. It has high skill cap. The more you play it, the better you get. This Pokemon is just so much fun to use. I love it. Now I'm going to go through the rest of the attackers here. Mew is addictively fun. Mew is a similar conversation. The more you play, the better you get. However, it's just a little bit hard to use. And um, I feel as if if it's too hard to use, then it's not going to be fun. We've got to have the right ratio of challenging to rewarding, if that makes sense. Uh, Maradon Electro Drift build strictly is addictively fun. Otherwise, it is brain dead and disgusting. So I'm going to keep it up here in addictively fun because purely Electro Drift is honestly, it's such a cool, sick mechanic. I think it's heaps of fun. It's just a pity it's so overpowered. Pikachu is novelty. It's fun at first, but then it will die off after a couple of games. Cinderace is just a disgustingly brain dead, useless Pokemon to use in the current meta when there are other better auto attackers like this thing, which is also brain dead and disgusting. Not to say it's uh, honestly, uh, mm, yeah, look, it's like, it's not honestly, I personally don't find this Pokemon fun to use whatsoever. Same as Mewtwo Y. I literally think I have one game on Mewtwo Y. I don't like this Pokemon. It's not fun to use. It's brain dead. Um, and people expect the world from you when you use these Pokemon. So not, not a fan. Uh, Cramorant is novelty fun, right? It's got a decent skill cap, but it just dies off. I don't think you have the mobility or like the high skill shots to just make it super addictively fun. Uh, Duraludon, I just think is like, meh, it's not really that fun. Like, you know, it's not brain or disgusting. Like you've got to be aware of your positioning because you don't have mobility to dash in and out of places, but it's, yeah, like, it, you know, even just using it, it's not really that fun. You're kind of locked in the jungle. There's so many things that are just uh, it's just like you just hold it the you hold a for most of the game it's not really that fun uh nine tails is is novelty i would say it's addictively fun but it's just kind of too easy to get the hang of and once you play a couple of games with nine tails you're pretty much chilling uh decidua is addictively fun specifically spirit shack or build if you've got movement speed uh, it's just such a fun cool pokemon i love using decidua and guys we can get amongst decidua you take this pokemon into the jungle Gardevoir is another Pokemon that is just so addictively fun. Um, I, however, I just think that's a little bit weak in the meta, but that's not to say it's a really fun Pokemon to use, right? Uh, the, the downside of Gardevoir is that you're going to get dived on, but you, you get to play with Super, uh, with Future Sight or Psy Shock. You can predict where the enemies move. You've got to be aware of your positioning. You've got to have good rotations. And the Unite move, if you catch the enemy and you can anticipate where they're going to be with their Unite move, it is so much fun. It's so cool to play. Venusaur is addictive fun because there's two awesome builds that do two completely different things. I'm big, big fan of Venusaur. Chandelure's novelty, right? It's pretty fun, but the fun wears off pretty soon. Dragapult, in my opinion, is... Uh, I, I don't honestly, I just think it's kind of brain dead. You just hold one button. Uh, I'm not really a fan. Uh, Sylveon is addictively fun, specifically the Mystical Fire and Draining Kiss build. If you're into damage numbers, you use this with a potion. This is the Pokemon to use. It is so cool. Uh, Delphox, I think, is kind of novelty fun, like Fire Spin, the way it wraps people around. And then if you get used to the other dashing move, the Mystical Fire or whatever it is, um, yeah, heaps of fun. Uh, Espeon is addictively fun. I love using Espeon. It's, it's so cool to use, especially stored power. Very beginner friendly. It's not exactly brain dead because you do have to target your other skill. Um, however, if you can position with that Unite move, if you can dash in with that Eject button at the right time, it's just heaps of fun to use. And it's so strong as well early in the game. And Greninja, I just think it's not really that fun at the moment. It used to be such a cool, fun Pokemon. You dash around with smoke screen. You could be a little sneaky. It's not brain dead, right? You have to actually really think about playing Greninja properly. Otherwise, you're going to be throwing your games. It's not as simple as just holding the A button and then clicking a skill that makes your attack speed go faster or lock onto the enemies. Um, you, you've got quite a bit to think about. But unfortunately, Greninja in current meta is not really that fun to use just because there's so much chain CC and you're so, so squishy without the escape. 
This moves us on to our speedsters. Now there's not too many of our speedsters and honestly these Pokemon are all really fun to play in my opinion. I, I really really like playing these Pokemon. So Scyther, which one's the most fun in my opinion? Honestly, I think it's Zorak because there's just an element of pretending that you're Overlord when you're playing Zorak. It's just so much fun, especially when you hit a combo or you hit quad or pentakill, you think you're on the world stage, right? You think you're just the best player in the world. So there's something so fun about using this Pokemon. Um, addictively fun. I'm just going to rattle these off. Scyther is so much fun to use. It's got so much crazy combo potential. It's such a, it's such an awesome Pokemon to use. Dodrio is just so cool. It's addictively fun that you can just dash around with a, you know, uh, with your jump kick. You can go in with drill peck. You can even play the tri-attack build if the enemies have got a lot of CC. Dodrio is really, really fun. And we're seeing a lot of great players constantly be rewarded for using this Pokemon. Leafeon, I think, is a bit of novelty fun. I think it does wear off a little bit, but there's nothing old about going in with a Unite move and the Leaf Blade to just tear up the enemies. Or even playing, uh, making some spicy Raised Leaf plays is really, really fun. Masquerada is very novelty fun at the moment. I'm having a lot of fun using Masquerada. <laughs> it's just, it. you can dash in with a Trailblaze. You can just you can do so much damage, and we're seeing the potential that you can use this Pokemon with. Gengar, honestly, this is going to be an unpopular opinion here. I just don't find Gengar that fun. Maybe I just haven't figured out the mechanics well enough yet. I played this Pokemon when it very first came out and didn't know what I was doing on a mobile. So maybe that skewed my opinion of Gengar. But I personally don't find this Pokemon that fun to play. Same as Zero Aura. I don't necessarily find Zero Aura that fun to play. That's just my opinion. I know there are people that are like obsessed with Zero Aura. Like, we'll take this pokemon to a grave with them it's like they love this pokemon i know i'm going to be offending some people I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if you love this pokemon but it's just not the one for me tom flame is novelty fun and then you soon realize that there's a reason why it's got this win rate right here okay there's a good reason why it's got that win rate uh and it's also got pretty trash pick rate too okay absol I think Absol's kind of novelty fun. Personally, I just haven't really used Absol that much to have a strong opinion. So I'm going to keep it novelty. The few times I have played it, it's been kind of cool. Um, but this Pokemon seems like it has a semi-high skill ceiling. Um, you have to be aware of when you're timing the engages. But in comparison to your other speedsters, it's it's not a very high skill cap Pokemon. So that's our speedsters. Let's get a move on with our all-arounders. Now, I love the all-arounder class. I think it's so versatile. There are so many that are just so much fun to use. But if I had to pin it down to my singular favorite, hands down, most fun to use Pokemon, I think this has got to go to Lucario. Lucario has extreme speed and power punch builds. It's extremely high skill cap. You can play in the top lane as it, and it's just so fun. You've got so much mobility. You've got so much execution. It's just a Pokemon that I can get around and I always seem to have some good fun when I'm playing on Lucario. So that's that's where I sit there. I know there are people going to be like, what the hell, man? Buzzswell's the way to go. Blaziken's fun. The chicken, man. If you don't play the chicken, look, there's a lot of these Pokemon that are fun. Um, are there any that are brain dead disgusting? I think Mewtwo X is a little brain dead disgusting. I I don't personally find Mewtwo X all that fun at all. Um, AG Slash, I played a lot of games on AG Slash and this is unfortunate for me. I just think he's not a fun Pokemon to use, really. Uh, Charizard, I think, is novelty fun. He's kind of like fun at first, just because he's like that fire dragon that everyone sees on, you know, on the Pokemon series. Uh, Metagross, I think, is novelty as well. He wears off pretty quickly. <laughs> Magikarp, I'm going to get hate, man, but I just don't think that's a fun Pokemon to play, especially if you're up against enemies for really, really strong early. You're just going to get destroyed as a little Magikarp, and you're not going to have fun playing the game. Urshifu, both of these Urshifus used to be so much fun to play. So much fun to play. Now they're just not fun. They're too weak. They lack the skill. Um, and being good at these Pokemon, you're not going to get rewarded for it. So I just don't think they're that fun to play. Zacian, on the other hand, I think Zacian is addictively fun to play. Now, I don't really want to promote the X Pokemon, Maridon and Zacian. However, these Pokemon are just heaps of fun. Yeah, Buzzhole, in my opinion, I think he's kind of novelty fun. I, I like, he's, he's kind of cool to play. I wouldn't say he's addictive. Like, I just, 
to me, I find high mobility Pokemon really fun to play or, or like incredibly high skill cap, hard to aim moves fun to play. So for me, he's kind of like a, like a novelty. It's like a cool Pokemon, really fun. You get to throw people around with, you know, superpower and stuff, but yeah, that's it for me. Sizzle, in my opinion, is addictively fun. I know it sucks, although it just has had a buff, so I don't necessarily know where it fits, but previously it just kind of sucked and you'd always lose matches generally when you play this Pokemon. But if you like farming damage numbers, this Pokemon is so much, it's so cool to use. Azumarill to me is a novelty until you realize that if you're not fighting one-on-one, -on -one, you're gonna get absolutely destroyed. Dragonite to me, I personally just don't find Dragonite that fun. Yeah, I personally just don't find Dragonite all that fun to use. Uh, Garchomp, honestly, Garchomp, I, I'm honestly putting in the same boat. Like he, he's sort of like that melee character that only clicks A and you've got a couple dashing skills. Again, maybe it's like, dude, you're just not good at Garchomp. And I'd be like, all right, that's a fair comment. However, the times I've used them, I've really had fun. Uh, Tyranitar's novelty. I don't find Tyranitar addictively fun only because I don't enjoy getting smashed for the fir first five minutes of the game. And I feel bad taking the jungle off my team who are you know, could potentially be playing another Pokemon that's stronger in the jungle. I just get a feeling of guilt there. Serena for me, novelty, just a little bit too weak to be addictively fun. Mimikyu, I think is fairly like, I get it pretty addictive when I play Mimikyu only because of how you can just chain around the map with your shadow sneak. I haven't fully figured this out yet. Every time I play, I learn something new. I get better and better with this Pokemon. Shadow Claws heaps of fun. Player off is kind of obnoxious, but this Pokemon is just fun to use. The chicken is addictively fun. You can launch off these combos. You can dominate in your top lane. You get to use four skills in the same in, in the same match. It's just really, really cool. And Machamp, in my opinion, is fairly novelty, right? It's fun for a bit and then you get over him. And it's like, you put him back in the box for a season and then you pull him out. You're like, oh, Machamp, he's so much to play and then you put them back in the box like not that fun anymore right so these are our all-rounders let's have a look at our defenders is there any defenders that i think are extremely fun to play who are just so rewarding and the most cool thing ever yes the pokemon goes by the name of trevenant trevenant curse pain split is back and it is so much fun. I love damage numbers. I love getting in the enemy grill. It's just such a cool Pokemon to use. Are there any that are addictively fun? Yes, I really, really like playing Blastoise. Blastoise to me is such a versatile Pokemon. I could seriously play Blastoise all day. You can use tank build, you can go top lane carry, you can change up your builds. Really, really fun to use. Um, however, the rest of these, in my opinion, like Umbreon, novelty. It's pretty cool. Um, Umbreon's a fan favorite. Um, I wouldn't say he's addictively fun just because of the role that you have. It's kind of like you just get to watch everyone else carry. Gudra is novelty. Until you realize that this Pokemon does nothing, the damage numbers are a lot of fun, but you soon get sick of losing more games than you should because you have really no way to swing the game uh, late game. Uh, okay, Greedon. Greedon is addictively fun. This Pokemon is super cool to use. I like going between Cobbit and Belch and uh, Bullet Seed and Stuffed Cheeks or whatever the move is called. It is heaps of fun to use. Um, and yeah, I just really, really like playing Greedon. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. Uh, the only thing that sucks about it is you're going to lose because it doesn't really have a good role if you're up in a higher level lobby. Uh, Mamoswine to me is just not a very fun Pokemon to play only because you're evolving so late and it's, yeah, it's just not it. Uh, Crustle to me is a fairly novelty. I find him from for a bit. You can use those walls. You can get cooking with your builds. You can be a little you know, you can be a big crab and snip snip everywhere and, you know, be a little claw and whack whack, right? Which is fun for a bit. And then you get over it. Snorlax to me, I just don't really find Snorlax all that fun. I have some friends who just love playing this Pokemon, but that's just not who I am. I don't really find this Pokemon fun. Lapras to me is just... Uh, honestly, it's novelty, right? Because you get that Unite move. He's pretty cool to use. You can like zip around with the Lapras Express and he's pretty cool to use. I have a lot of fun playing this Pokemon. And a Slowbro. Slowbro to me is honestly not that fun. I, I, like, I'll play it maybe two games and I'm like, all right, I'm completely sick of it. And even when I am playing it, I'm not playing it because it's fun. I'm playing it because it's a good Pokemon in solo queue. So this brings us now onto our supporters. And if you haven't noticed, the only Pokemon that are in Brain Dead Disgusting are just Pokemon that hold the A button, or if your name is Mewtwo and it requires zero skill to play. 
So we're on to our supporters. The most fun in each class, our final one here. It's a tie between Hooper and Eldegoss. Hooper and Eldegoss, which one's it gonna be? I personally love Hooper. I think this Pokemon is so cool to use the portals and the functionality of this, plus the Unite move, you can swing the fight and you can also be a bad Hooper player and lose the game for your team. However, there are addictively fun supporters. Eldegoss is 100% on this list. I could spend an entire day playing Eldegoss. You can go like solo queue machine gun build. You can go supportive with the with guards. Uh, it's just such a cool Pokemon to use. I also really like Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is addictively fun when you're going the barrier confusion build. I could, again, play this Pokemon for hours and hours and hours. Such a fun Pokemon to use. I really, really enjoy playing Mr. Mime. Novelty Pokemon. Well, Sableye is just disgusting, so we'll get him out of the way there. Uh, Blissey, I don't really find Blissey that fun. I, I actually kind of find it a bit boring to play. I'm, I'm not really a fan of Blissey. Uh, for Fable is novelty, but I personally get sick of it. Wigglytuff is novelty, um, but again, I personally get sick of it just because there's not a whole lot to do with these skills. Um, however, they are fun because you know you're going to be doing really well for your team. And Kumfei, to me, it depends on my mood. It's it's. It, to me, it's just not really that fun because I actually like playing the game myself, not watching other people play. However, it's fun when you're just sitting there eating your food and talking with some mates on VC on Discord. So there you have it. This is the most fun Pokemon in each class, and we can see there might be a little bit of a correlation between how fun a Pokemon is to use, and if you kind of had a third variable here, which was the Pokemon's win rate, and we can see if it has a high pick rate. So some of these Pokemon here, we had Maridon and Mouscarada, I think are personally very, very fun to use. Trevenant is very fun to use, as well as Blastoise. Zorak is up there as well, and we also had Eldegoss and... What's his name? Espeon, right? And then if we have a look at some of these other Pokemon that I'm not really a fan of, we've got Glaceon, which is up there because it's just strong Pokemon. Uh, and we've also got Umbreon is up here purely because it's just such a strong Pokemon. So there you have it. That's kind of, maybe we're seeing a bit of a correlation between how fun a Pokemon is to use and how much usage it gets in Pokemon Unite.